G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, one of my favorite and most powerful web parts uh, in SharePoint is the highlighted content web part. There are so many different use cases for this web part in how you can display content and make it easy for your users to consume that content as well. Now, the example we're going to use uh, in this episode is around creating a video library. So being able to present videos, whether that be training, how-to guides, onboarding videos, there are so many different use cases here to your users so that they can access those nice and easily. All right, so you can see on the page here, I've got a web part that is uh, got the title of most recent videos, and that's what we're going to create. So first thing, I'm just gonna remove this web part, all right? So we'll take this off the page and then we'll start from scratch, all right? And I'll show you a, a, a couple of different ways in which we can use this highlighted content web part to display that content. So the first thing that we need, or the first thing that I've set up here is a dedicated document library just for these videos. So I've called this library the video library and when I open that up, you can see I've also added a custom column here called video type and we're gonna use that in the highlighted content web part in a minute. Now, what we need to understand here is that we need to create this as a site column so that it gets indexed in the search uh, so that we can use that as a managed property. So how we go about doing that is we need to jump into the site information, jump into view all site settings, and we've got this section here called site columns. So when we create a site column, that means that we can use that column across any library in this site and it also then automatically becomes a managed property for us and we can use that in search and we can use that in the highlighted content web part. So we can see here, if I just go to custom, search for custom because there's a section here called custom columns, you can see that I've created a custom column called video type and it's a choice column and I've got a number of different choices here. I've then gone ahead and added that column to this particular library here. All right, as simple as that. We can add other columns if we want to, uh, other metadata and things if we want to uh, categorize in a different way. Now, getting back to the home page here, the next thing that we want to do is add the highlighted content web part to the page. So you can see I've got the page in edit mode. I'm just going to search for highlighted content and we're going to add that to the page. Now, by default, it's going to show documents. All right, so you can see here, we've got a number of different properties that we can choose from. I'm gonna keep it as a basic filter. I'm gonna keep the source as this site, but you can see that you can use um, different selected sites, or you can pick and choose different sites, a number of sites, all sites, even, even narrow it down to a particular library as to where you wanna show content from. But I'm just going to keep it at this site for now because there might be other um, locations where uh, I might have video content, all right? Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to change the type of, uh, from documents to videos. So that's automatically going to show all the videos that are on this site. And you can see there that I've got eight videos that have been displayed in a card based layout and it's nice and visually appealing to an end user to, to look at. Now, we can go a little bit of a step further here and we can create multiple instances, for example, of this web part where we can show different types of videos. And you can see here in the filter and sort section that we can filter um, based on a number of different attributes. So we can uh, determine if, a, if a, a title includes these particular words, so if I type in uh, episode, you can see that we filter all of the videos down to any video with the word episode in the title of that. Now, the, the interesting one here is around manage property. All right, so let's now, what we might do now is let's save this uh, web part as episodes. And I'm just going to now add another highlighted, another instance of this highlighted content web part. And the same thing, I'm gonna change the type to videos, but this time I'm gonna use the filter, the manage property filter here. And remembering that I've got a property called video type, 
So I'm gonna type in video. Here's the video type. It tells me it's a choice column. And I wanna say, right, whenever a video is of, um, let's say tip. Have I got any tips in there? I've got one. So any video that is marked or tagged as tip is going to display automatically for me. And what I might do here is go most recent tips and we can add multiple different instances and filter and show whatever content that we want to. In this case, we're talking about videos. So you can see there, I've now got one web part that's showing episodes and one web part here that's showing most recent tips. So with that in mind, you could build out a page on, a on your SharePoint site that, that is just dedicated to videos and you could have different uh, and multiple instances of the highlighted content web part on the page that then shows and slices and dices and displays different type of content really easily for you. No coding, out of the box web part and there's so much power in that web part that allows you to create some really rich experiences for your users. So I hope that brings you some value today. The highlighted content web part is one of my favorites, one of the most powerful web parts parts to build out some really engaging pages. Thanks for watching. See you next time.